Hi, this is the Bike Hermit for Hermit's Workshop, brought to you by Bike Touring News. Let's talk about derailers and how they move a chain to shift gears on a bicycle. There's a front derailleur and there's a rear derailleur. So the derailleur acts as a guide and moves the chain back and forth when the bicycle is shifted from the shift levers. There's a spring in the front derailleur, as you can see. There's two springs in a rear derailleur. And when the chain is run through the derailleur, shifting the gear will move the derailleur cage and guide the chain onto the teeth of the adjacent chain ring or cog. So how exactly does that work? So now we have our chain installed on the bike and we have our shifter cable attached to the derailleur. So when we shift, we're tightening the cable, moving the derailleur out, it's pushing the chain over, the chain's engaging, with the teeth on the bigger ring and it drops on there. And then we shift back down, we let tension off of the cable, the spring tension on the derailleur returns the cage that way, pushes the chain off the top and lets it drop back down onto the small ring. And now we have our cable attached to our rear derailleur so we're pedaling and we shift, so we're tensioning the cable on the rear derailleur. It's forcing the derailleur that way, which in turn guides the chain here to the next cog where it engages and climbs up onto the next bigger cog. Then when we release tension on the cable by shifting the other direction, the derailleur returns with its own spring tension And it pulls the chain away from the upper cog and lets it drop down and engage with the teeth on the next lower cog.